Hello and welcome to this video on how to take your apprenticeship exams. In this video we will cover your pre-exam email, the question mark test platform, your results and certification. As the exam date approaches you will receive an email detailing your exam name, date and time, your question mark login, username and password, and the website link to access your question mark exam. Your invigilator for the exam session will also receive these details. If you require any assistance with logging in, please speak to your invigilator before the examination session begins. Question mark is an online testing platform which is accessed through most common web browsers. In order to access question mark, click the link in your email. You will then be taken to the login page. Enter your username and password as provided in your pre-exam email. Once you have logged in, you will see the exams available to you in this session. Select the appropriate exam and question mark will then load the secure software. Click the link to launch your assessment. The next page will download a launch file to your downloads folder. Run the launch file and question mark will then ask that you save any open work as it will close any other applications leaving only the question mark browser open. Next, the invigilator will need to enter their login details to begin the session. Once the invigilator login has been entered, you will be presented with important information for the exam you are about to take. Please read the exam instructions carefully before clicking I agree in the bottom right hand corner to continue. You will now be taken to the exam. Each question will be multiple choice and you must select one answer each time. You must select your answer using the radio buttons next to each option. If you'd like to change the contrast of the screen, you can click the contrast icon in the top right hand corner. Next to the contrast icon is the time remaining in your exam. Your invigilator will remind you when you have 10 and 5 minutes remaining. When you have selected your answer, click the next question button in the bottom right hand corner to proceed. In order to move to particular questions, you can use the exam navigator button in the bottom right hand corner. You will be presented with the question numbers. Click a question number to be taken to that question. If you would like to flag a question and return to it later, you can click the flag icon in the bottom right hand corner. This will add a black mark in the corner of the question when looking for it in the exam navigator. Click the question mark icon in the top right hand corner at any time for additional help on using the test platform. When you are ready to end the exam, click the end exam button. Once you have ended your exam, you will see your result on screen. This information will also be emailed to you. As BCS will need to approve this result, please allow five working days for the result to appear in your ePROFESSIONAL candidate portal. If you have not yet registered for your candidate portal, please follow the instructions in the email you will have received. Once your result has been processed by BCS, you can access the ePROFESSIONAL candidate portal where you will see your result and be able to view and print your e-certificate. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching and good luck with your exam.